Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy, King Abe, back again with another banger, back again with another amazing video for you guys. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the 50 and the 100 EMA moving average trading strategy. So if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. So without further ado, let's dive right in on the computer and let's get this thing started. All right guys, so we're looking at NZD USD, we only one hour time frame, and also using this strategy that I'm about to show you guys, it on the one hour time frame. But as always, before you get in the market at all, you always have to mark up your zones using support and resistance, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys here in this video. So since we're going to be using this strategy on the one hour time frame because i like to day trade that's what i like to do and that's how i trade so we're going to go to the four hour time frame to mark up our zones using the support and resistance and what i do is and i'll be doing that for you guys also here in this video the easiest way to find your zones is to use your line chart and you'll be able to see everything. And we start from here. You can see that we have a support zone over here. We also have over here. We also have over here. We have a resistance zone over here. And we have over here. And we also have over here as well as you guys as you guys can see now we go back to the one hour time frame and we switch to our regular candlestick and as you guys can see everything looks perfect so now what i'm going to do now is to add the first indicator the first moving average we're going to add the 100 ema first and you go to settings you go to inputs and we switch that to 100 and for the style you can use whatever color you want and then change that to the second one and then you click on OK and as you all know or if you do not know it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of moving average you're using if price is below your moving average you sell short above your move, uh, moving average you buy long it's that simple it doesn't matter what moving average it is now we add the final indicator another ema and you change that to 50 switch that to 50 and for the style just use whatever color you want to and you change that to the second one and then you click on ok now now that you have everything we also have our support and res resistance already now to use this strategy now you have to make sure number one your first confirmation is this cross over here for this cell that's your first confirmation you wait for the 50 to cross over the 100 ema coming down that's your first confirmation you can see it happened right here where i just marked now your second confirmation your second confirmation is for you to see if price is gonna close below your support zone over here once that happened you would have got in the trade you got in that trade and your tp your TP would have been over here, your TP1 over here, and you have your TP2 over here. That's how you use this strategy for yourself. Confirmation 1, the cross. Confirmation 2, price closed below your support zone. Then you get in the trade. You got in, let's say you got in the trade over here. 
you're gonna need to trade right there at that candle once you got in your tp is over here your tp2 is over here now if we take a look at how many pips this was this gave us a first take profit gave us 68 pips a second take profit gave us 125 pips is that simple guys it's not complicated at all and another thing i want to tell you guys if you're not using this strategy please start using it because it's going to help you maximize your profit and minimize your losses as you guys can see when this trade go to our first take profit over here look at what price did after that price reversed touched our support initial previous support zone and made a resistance now if you had when price go to your first take profit what you can do is move your stop loss to your entry price so even if price stopped you out you still good because guess what look at what happened over here now over here you could have entered again you could have entered as soon as you saw this right here you could have entered right there as soon as you saw that what do you do you just get in the trade once you get in the trade your first take profit would have been over here and your second take profit would have been right here in this zone so now guess what now you just made more money and if we look at how many pips we eventually got on this trade now that's another 93 pips that you just made is that simple very easy and as we can see over here because the market is currently open right now now we can see that the cross eventually happened for us over here for this for this buy we can see that that happened now but if you know how to trade what you do is if because if we look price eventually broke our resistance zone over here now what do you do you can get in over here you would have absolutely got in right here you would have got in over here you would have got in right there that would have been your entry and right now price is still open and i'm very very sure at least that price is absolutely going to get to this zone because if we look at over here we can see that a resistance was made over here one two it made a resistance over here twice now we can see that okay price is absolutely going to get here so what do i do i set my first take profit to this zone over here that's my first take profit and my second take profit will be right here and my third take profit will be right here but i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna move my stop loss to my entry price when price gets to my take profit one and if you guys don't know how to move your stop loss to your entry price you can click on the video right above this right now at the top right hand corner click on it watch that video then you'll be able to know how to move your stop loss to your entry price and also trail your stop loss so guys is that simple that's how to use this strategy i try to make sure this video wasn't too long so if this is your first time on my channel make sure you like this video share this video because as we all know sharing is caring and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos i make strategy videos forex tutorials every single week so make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that's it for me guys i hope you guys have an had an amazing day thank you guys for watching and i'll see you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded